Hello, everyone. <coughs> All right. Oh, okay. So, hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to experiment on a topic of reference, ref at ref, or yep. So, um, so here, um, test. We're going to create uh, a page. Here, um, I don't like this code and your razor. I want to have, oh, as, as always, I want to have a code behind. Yeah, because I'm an old school guy in an old school world. Okay, so we have that, and we're going to add a page here. Test. So one of these days, uh, we'll create a video and comparing how fast you can create pages and and components in Razor, uh, Blazor compared to Angular. And I am kind of liking, I kind of tilting towards Blazor now instead of Angular because uh, you can really write f um, codes fast in Angular. I oh, know. What am I saying? Um, I'm I'm more of a Blazor Pro now compared to an Angular one. Uh, I'm kind of like I do like uh, Blazor no more compared to Angular. Guess you can write Blaze um, codes and implement pages faster in Blazor. The only down down um, side is yeah it takes some quite some few steps to rebuild your application so if you guys can fix that then yeah I will be a true blazer developer from now on okay so we have this test here so we're going to create um, a, yeah so we have so see this we have to stop that so that we can create a new component which takes extra steps so yep we you need guy uh, you need to work on this one so this one we're going to create uh, components here or maybe we can use Visual Studio our uh, Visual Studio code and just don't use the this thing here uh, you know, I will still have to research on that if uh, that is possible so this one here is a test child component component that razor okay and then as always we can rename this and then uh, create a new one that cs here for its code behind Okay, so we're going to override um, on initialized async and then use this one here. Alright, so the okay, test. this child component all right so that's it okay so cool so usually when we create um, a parameter we can do something like this test param and then you're going to put here test param Okay, so this test param here will be override on initialize async, then a public string. Get set. This the test param is equals to JBX 
and our let's pass this here and then in here we're going to say parameter string test param uh, should no, uh, should be public yeah sorry so that is public and we're going to display that here okay so if we run this there's an error what so we're just going to async that one and run again so after that we're going to test and it has error um, why? Because I love you. So that is an angular way. This is the blazer way. Because if you have to okay, so the test param is here. We named this JBX, yeah. So, how do we dis display this? Like that, right? Test param. If you have to be da 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 worry hey what, what the hell um yes yeah, so it's do we have to put something like that if you had to be the So yeah, we have to ref uh, this one here um, like a reference. So we have that working, and we want to create a new reference here. Uh, different ways test param x. So get set here, and in here we're going to say ref here like that and um, maybe we can put something like this here parameter public string like that and this one here like that okay so in this one here we're going to say jbx X. So we want to see if we can. Um, yeah, it has error now. Uh, what is your error again? Cannot implicitly convert um, component to string. Huh? Ah, because it's a reference to a component. Okay, so if I'm going to add here public or private or uh, whatever child component here, like that, and we want to reference that here like that and like that okay let's
let's test so we can do that and okay so so this one here we'll say that this this one dot param x here is equal to jbx x and we can remove this should not be outside of this component and remove that Display it there and then here. So, yeah, we need to. Oh, okay, we need to public string string test param x here. So, the test param x is there. Alright, cool. This one here. Okay. So let's try what happens here. If you get worry. To worry. Let me down Do -do -do. because I love you. All right, so we'll try to remove this one first here and then run again. To be this, did it, 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 child component there here and yep this one because I love you love you I love you I love you. Okay, so maybe we can remove this. And here we can remove this, maybe. And here we can display that there. Okay. And in here, then we can remove this. And remove that and here this one will say that this is JBX okay and then run this do, 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 do. 
Reference is not set to an instance of an object. So we do it like that, maybe. So everything in C sharp it needs to be initialized. And yeah, I believe for all object oriented programming, you need to initialize an object before you can use it. Okay, so we have it here. Okay, so it's making progress. So we we have that. It's referencing to this one, and we have a JBX here, and a JBX here. This um, okay. So why is it that it's not displaying this one? Okay. Um, so if we have set that one there. And should we say that this is a parameter? Can we say something like that? Um, Yep, so it's still not working. So we reference to this child component here. Maybe I'll just child component X in here. Uh, this child component X. No, child component X here. And uh, this is the child component X, child component C. We set up. the component parameter and should not be set outside of its component um, maybe because we have it as an, a parameter so if we do it like that then yep so it's gone we set it So what if we set this one here? Okay. Will it display XXX? So it displays x x x, but we need to set this with another or okay. So if maybe what this means is if we we can take the value from this one maybe. So okay. So I here or X here is equals to test component dot test component X dot test parameter X. So we can reference to that and display it in R. Oh no, um, here we we'll create a private here or no protected protected string X here okay so this X here will be assigned to this and we're going to say here from child all right so we should see um, to reference uh, to 
XXX here now. From child, it doesn't have a value. Lámate. Yeah, so we took um, we have managed to get the value here on the X and we should display it there. This is the part where we need an observable. So we can say here subject string str because new subject string like that. And we need to have an i observable string o equals to equals to str like this and in O the is equals to str as 
observable string or we can remove this that and your o that subscribe x is equals to so um r here for the response x is equals to r and our str here on next equals to like that okay so this is when um, rx.net comes in handy because we're going to update that once our um, our value from the child component is um, getting retrieved so when we run that have this and we go into the test and we still don't have the value uh, it, it can here it come here xxx and yeah because after that we have to say state has change. Yep, we need to have that state as change. And that and uh, we do a test here. Hey, where's my test? Okay, so there you go. We have. Um, we have the value of our child component and displayed it on our parent here so if we're going to um, the value from child here so this is the value from child passing to the parent so it will display this one here if we don't display it in the child like that so we're going to say here like that uh, this is the value from child and we click this hey where's yeah, so this one, value from child, and the child here doesn't display anything. Yeah, so that's it. Um, hope you like it. Uh, please um, like and subscribe. Tell your entire clan to subscribe as well, and like and ring the bell. Thanks. Bye.